Well, I've got the flow divider, the adjustment valve put back in there. It was a beast to get in there with that heavy spring. I couldn't push any harder on it, but I got it started. So now I need to tighten it. So again, the top is the supply and the bottom goes to the remotes in the back that operate my bucket. So I'm hopeful that I've unplugged something and it did, it was cruddy sludge in the bottom. You shouldn't, and certainly there's a lot of moisture in my hydraulic fluid. I, I know that it's an old tractor, it does work fine and this has been, I've put new fluid in it and it still looks like this and it's just how it is. But there was a lot of brown sludge in that bottom remote in there, in that bottom flow that goes to the remotes and the auxiliary valve. And so there shouldn't be any crud in there. So I'm hoping that I've got it fixed and we'll see what happens. Well, I got the flow valve all put back together and I still have the same problem. So this reservoir still fills up seems to be coming into where I think it should flow out of this reserve area I think this is an extra reserve area where this if the pressure relief valve blows or these two other places where excess pressure can be relieved if it comes out into this area then it drains down into the main reservoir I think but I'm not sure but it's coming up through the return that's in the bottom of this casing down in there. And so I think there's too much pressure on the return still. And so I've got this valve here that I'm going to look at, this leaf valve. And then inside of the auxiliary valve here, this comes with a tractor and this is an add-on piece here but I'm going to get inside of here and see if it's blocked somehow or not allowing flow from this unit, the inner, to the outer and the outer is what goes to the outer is what goes to the remotes I believe so yep so that's what I'm going to work on next and it's unfortunate that didn't work. There still could be problems in here, I guess. But just try one piece at a time. So I took these two openings off here. It's just a plug there. Looks like, and then the other one had a screen in it, actually. And then there's the other relief valve. It was just loose hand tight, not even hand tight actually, it was just loose in there so don't know what that was about exactly but let me show you what this other device looks like here that I pulled out so this was in that auxiliary valve on the inner and it's got a screen and I'm hoping I open that screen up and it's got a bunch of crud on the back side and totally blocked that's what I'm hoping I don't know how it works or anything but maybe that's my problem we'll find out I'll just keep investigating Okay, I took that, took this apart that was on the inside of that auxiliary valve, and there was a little screen here. It's fine, a little hole there, it's open. And this gadget is in the bottom here, and it's got a hole there. I blew compressed air in there. Nothing came out. It's all engineered. Looks like it comes apart, but I couldn't get it apart. And then it looks like it's got some small rods in there on both sides. 
and so that makes me think maybe it doesn't come apart. It didn't budge, so I quit messing with it. So that all looks fine. So what I think I'm going to do is probably put plexiglass over this again and start it up. See what happens. I should get a bunch of flow out of this inner valve here. And so see what happens here. So I'm draining all the fluid out. Took the filter out. Of, well, I'm not going to take the lines off. Too much trouble. It'll be a significant project to drain all the lines. So I'm not going to do that part. But I've taken the filter out. I'm going to get a new filter. And as you can see, it's quite milky and quite contaminated oil. And I do have one of those Allied Precision spacers that doubles the size of the filter. And so see I've got this double sized cover here, it's got that spacer on it. So the filter is twice as big as normal size, which should help I think. Help with capacity and everything, but it very well could be plugged. It's hard to tell if a filter is plugged or not. So I've drained in the main drain there, I've found the plug on the rear end side of the hydraulics too, and I'm draining draining it there. I've drained the reserve underneath the seat. And so hope to get this working again one day. Here's my hydraulic pump and draft control pump. Goes in the 504 tractor. Taking it all out here. And if you have a shop manual for the tractor, this is what the pump, the two pumps and the housing and the pipes, the hoses and the filter system all looks like. It's got that long spacer tube in the end of it and then this is where it connects in directly to the tractor motor. Gear driven pump here. So it's hard to tell if the pump is bad by feeling it or listening to it or looking at it. And it doesn't take much, I don't think, for it to be burned out. I know it did get starved of fluid and was making a lot of noise. So this is the hydraulic pump side that operates the lift and a portion of it is diverted to the power steering. So it operates the power steering cylinders as well. And this is the draft control or they also call it the Hydra Touch, I think, system on these old international tractors. And so I bought two of these pumps. The grand total was about 800 bucks. And I'm hoping that solves my problem. Let's go over here and look at where these pumps came out of here. This is the housing here. Got the hoses and it's draining. You can see the gear in there that's connected to the motor. And then in there is where it goes to the filter on the other side. So I'm going to get the two pumps, two new pumps, put them together and put it in and hope it works. Got the old pump out, which is over on this side. This is the This is the old draft control pump here, and this is the old lift pump, and I got the new draft control pump, and the new hydraulic lift pump. It's one thing I noticed, I've got an O-ring in this new draft control pump here, and I don't believe I had an o-ring in this one. I've looked on the gasket here and I don't see it suck anywhere and I looked to see if it's fallen anywhere so I don't know. It's one difference but thought I'd just show you the pumps here. <laughs> 